So you guys saw us cleaning up the storage unit the other day. Um, we're here again in uh, social distancing. We're staying at our house. Um, this is what our warehouse basically looks like. It's our basement. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like before. A little bit of time lapse here and there. Um, and then I'll show you an after. This is our entryway into the basement. Um, this product right here, what we call, we call it mystery mix. And we put that in our cranes for the win every time side. It's capsules that we aren't going to use anymore or they stop selling as good. Some of them are still $2 toys, like you will still get a good toy. Um, these are products that we've bought that just don't seem to sell too well. Uh, so we do still use them, but not that heavily. Um, when you come through the entryway there, this is our laundry room. That's a whole bunch of bouncy balls, some spare machines. Brand new machine that was given to us from one of our suppliers. Laundry, currently doing some laundry. Um, if you walk this way, we go into our main warehouse area. So this is where I prep all the stuff ready to go. And there's our moving blankets, some bigger caps. We haven't used those yet. I want to start using them, but um, it's hard. We've got too many capsules at this point. We're trying to slow down. Same with candy. We've got too much candy. So we're going to narrow our, our selection of candy. I think currently we have 20 different products of candy. And we've probably got 30 different toys. So um, there's all of that. Uh, the f very front there is candy. This is toys. Um, yeah, so a whole bunch of toys. There's some product for our cranes. Um, here's some more product for our cranes. We call them MP4 cranes. So we put electronics and stuff in them. Hence the name MP4. Some more toys. Again, too many di different types of toys. Haven't had a chance to place those. These are the gumballs we use. We have some. Uh, we have some uh, gumball machines that we we give out a prize if you get a black winter gumball. That's what those are. Uh, unfortunately, you have to buy them in a case. You get 900 to a case. They last quite a while. Over here is for our snack machines. We go through a crap ton of Pepsi. Um, and actually, these soup bowls do really, really well for us too. We got a couple hotels and and uh, stuff like that, they do pretty good. These didn't do well, shouldn't have bought those. Other than that, everything else is pretty pretty consistent there. Walk in here, another bathroom, it's full of stuff. No business stuff. This room, this is, this is where my wife does her hang drying. Um, more spare machines. Those ones are ready to go out. If we have a location that wants a machine right now um, and we don't have to make something special, I'll just grab those. These are what we use for uh, dispensing our toys. So up top here, we used to have a, like a plastic display stand and we would glue our toys to the top, but it, it took us too long to do it. It took us about 20 minutes, um, de depending how many toys we changed out. So now what we have is there's just a placard that goes up top and it just says something um, something along the lines of uh, different toy in every prize or, or something like that. And it just, we change it once and it stays there forever. We never change it again. And then this is the rest of our stuff. So these are all um, parts, machines, machines needing fixing, coin max for our snack machines. As you can see, those ones need to be fixed. This one is, the issue with it is it's set up for US. I bought it used. The issue with this one is it doesn't sort properly. The nice thing about this brand, uh, CoinCo, they've changed to CoinLux now. They're, it tells me when there's something wrong with it. So I open the door, it's automatically beeping. Other than that, I don't have to look at it. It'll tell me when it's low on coin. It'll tell me anything that's wrong. 
This is one of our toy machines that I'm actually looking at getting some custom designed parts made for. Um, we'll, they'll be 3D printed. I don't really want to say too much what it's for right now just because I don't know if it's going to work. i got to talk to my 3D printer guy. Um, we'll go from there. Uh, here's another coin mount. Took this out. It's a really old one. I don't like it. Not using it anymore. Probably try and sell it for, I don't know, 50 bucks. Um, as you can see, this table is the wrong way. I'm gonna possibly try and flip it around. There's a whole bunch of used stands. Everything, so when you come in the door here, everything to the right where you see all of the bins, so from here over, is out of service, needs to be cleaned, repaired, or something. And so all of those cash boxes need to be cleaned. All of those need to be, all of the, uh, candy heads need to be cleaned and taken apart um, everything like that everything on these shelves are cleaned and ready to go back into service so those are all of our spare machines spare coin max for our toy machines those are cash boxes ready to go uh, bases globes those are big beaver parts so those parts fit in these machines, these are called Northern Beavers. Really nice machines. You would saw some of those in the storage unit. Same with those, beaver machines. Um, and then totes. So, I'm gonna work at trying to clean this up. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, there's some snack machine parts. So, we just got a little bit of everything everywhere. And I'm, I'm assuming you guys can tell now why we we're just throwing stuff out left, right, and center. We just got too much stuff that we're never gonna use and it's not worth it. We are sticking solely with beaver machines from now on. Because of the fact we're sticking with beaver machines, we're not gonna worry about any of the other machines like the Northwestern or the Victor or anything like that. Plan to tackle this task. Uh, I'm just gonna start over here, clean everything as I go and work my way back, so. Yeah, I just moved these machines out of my way and stuff, but I still have stuff I need to do to these machines to get them ready before I put them in that room. So, like I gotta take the toys out. Uh, this we don't even use anymore. Hopefully you can see it, I can't check. Uh, they're just for like touch screens. So those won't even go in the uh, mystery mix. They'll just go straight in the garbage. Uh, these we don't use anymore either, but they're still a really good toy, it's just, we found that they started slowing down pretty much because every kid in our area has them by now. Normally I'd probably keep these bases, uh, but we have so many of them. Uh, like these are pretty nice condition, but again, as you saw down there, we probably have a hundred of them sitting there waiting. It's, it's not our goal to place candy machines anymore. Uh, we're more into the toys, cranes, snacks, stuff like that. We will keep candy, but we don't actively go and search candy locations out. So one part that I always try to save from all of our machines that we're throwing out or whatever are locks, just because they're it's $19 per lock. Uh, they do gum up quite a bit and you gotta replace them quite often. So if I can save a good one, I, I do. Um, as you can see, we got a, a few of them there. I wasn't able to film everything because my phone died <clears throat> and I did this once already but I didn't push record so this is the entryway everything's all cleaned up for the most part um, I gotta deal with this stuff still there's a garbage bag and then those bins I gotta take back to the wholesaler and the other stuff has to go inside 
other than that, this is when you walk in. It used to be a whole bunch of bouncy balls and some machines and stuff like that. Those two machines, I already have locations for. Uh, so I have to place those, which is why they're still there. Up the stairs. We got a load of laundry on. I don't know if I said that already, but uh, that's why it's low. I shut off the dryer though. Um, there's all that. Walk into where all of our product is now. And this didn't change a whole lot, but I organized these shelves uh, a little bit better than it was. Organized my bin. Uh, all the bouncy balls are now under that shelf there. Organized these, made this a little bit neater. Nothing really changed back there. Um, this changed, that's my wife's shelving for all of her product and our canned goods and stuff like that. Um, this didn't change at all, never even touched it. These are some filters that I made uh, for our snack machines. They're reusable, so instead of replacing them every time, save some money. Plus the one is up against the wall, so it'll be really hard to change it, so. There's some more product bins, which is why I'm getting rid of the other ones. Got too many of them. Uh, back to the laundry room. Bathroom didn't really change much. Here is the spare room where we keep the machines that are good to go. Those ones are all ready to go, except for that one. That's the one I'm using for the 3D printing guy. And this is the biggest change. As you can see, there's nothing here now. Um, I have a location for that machine. So that one's gonna stay there. Uh, flipped the table around, did all that, took off the door, cleaned all that up. All the stands are there. Those are all still dirty. I didn't mention before, these are for our massage chairs, harnesses, um, circuit boards, stuff like that, all for our massage chairs that we got placed. Um, that, there's, those are leathers for our massage chairs, um, just to change them. They're all brand new, so we're not going to change them anytime soon, but, uh, all of that stuff. This is all the spare parts for our snack machines. All of this is clean and good to go. And I organized the closet as well. So, everything is done. That's all for today. I think tomorrow I might do my garage. Uh, you'll see some uh, kitty rides, spare machines, uh, kitty ride that I'm rebuilding, refurbishing in there. Plus my toolbox because I'm a mechanic and everything like that. We'll see how that goes. See you guys for now.